Hey guys, good morning. This is Julie. It's going to be a busy Wednesday. We've got a lot going on. First, I want to open up with question and answers and show you some special uh, custom charts that I have uh, in addition to my strategy um, entry charts. Uh, I want to answer a question first from um, Devin Gibbs posted on chat with traders. He said, Garrett always wondered how someone could trade with so many lines on their chart. Well, that's a good question. If you've seen my charts or if you've seen FT71's charts, you see there's a bunch of stuff on it. That's true. And it's very hard to see through the lines. But once you get used to what the lines represent, you understand what it is you're looking at and the information has so much meaning for you. Um, First, on concepts, getting back to um, Heiken Ashes, the way I have my bar set up, I want to enter in it. I can select a trend direction. So if I'm trending down, it will get me only shorts. If I want to go long, I can hit the longs. Okay, so I'm set up to go with the uh, reversals. I can go long and short together. But usually I just tr pick a direction long or short and stay with it until the trend changes. And how do I know a trend changed? Well, in addition to a long signal, see that long signal is on one of those lines? That's one of my Keltner channel lines. And um, right there, <clears throat> that is a wider Keltner channel. This is the widest, and that usually contains price. So when I get down towards that bottom Keltner and say like get a re inflection off of a bottom VWAP, which this is, that bottom red line, getting close to this and I get my momentum inflection up and look what happened. It went all the way back up to this prior level, made a little one, two, three, and then went all the way up. And then we come into that bottom yesterday low which is tagged to a, a VWAP level. So you look for your confluences. That's why I have the two double green lines here. And that's exactly what happened. It didn't make it up to the prior levels up there. We're still moving up. This white dash line, that means there's a prior VWAP that never got touched. So like a virgin point of control, that means that that has not got touched. So price, it's going to be like a magnet. It's going to go towards that. So now I'm moving up, even though I'm in a down volatility. So I'm sort of expecting either it to punch through this volatility level or roll over and come back down short. So one of those two things are going to happen in this little triangle here. So um, how I decide to help me understand this, I have my Altogami indicator from Big Mike's futures IO and I can get my um, current value high and low areas off of a 30 minute chart. I can see my prior um, points of control to trade to, um, prior highs and lows from 30 minute sessions. I can change this to a one minute chart and like when we're day trading price will come up to a prior uh, value high or low, tag it, and turn back around. You can do this on a five minute chart, 30 minute chart. I think the standard is 30 minutes. So um, it can help you determine which direction to trade. If you get to the bottom, like right here, um, on this 30 minute section, price came to the bottom, poked outside of it, and then came and then entered back into the value good chances are that it's going to hit that top band again. That's where you trade to. So all of these lines have a meaning for us that we're looking at this price action and there's patterns that repeat. We're definitely looking short. See the big red line? That's my trend line. And then for intraday trading, I'll show you another chart I have for smaller entries. This is the um, uh, Metro edition uh, volume ladder. Uh, this was Gami's ladder that um, 
another trader forked from and then I've taken his fork and I've modified it with my um, own bloodhound templates and so I can directionally trade long or short off of this and I can see when these patterns change. Um, <clears throat> I will stay with the trade as long as that commitment of traders in a short is printing on top, but when it flips to the bottom, like right here, especially with delta, that signifies that you're getting that change in direction. Now here are all your short traders stacked up on this delta bar. The blue bar is actual volume. The white box is the highest volume node traded. And this red indicates that there was short delta up here and the green down here means long de uh, delta. So sometimes we're trading and it's just all red or green and you just know to just, you know, just keep hitting positions, add position size, add position size as it continues to move up, especially if you're looking for one of those lines to trade to, either a prior point of control or a prior VWAP or one of your volatility lines. See, I have some volatility levels on here too. I've got everything but the kitchen sink on here. But it's very helpful. Here's the prior open, that pink line. It tells me the yellow lines is the prior one hour initial balance. This is the Globex. So, I mean, I know, you know, what I'm looking for. I know that price will come down here and bounce. I wait for a turnaround and I enter and can manage my trades at these levels. The blue cloud is the 25% of that value area. But this is tremendously helpful, especially when you get to a developing VWAP. Price comes down to that zone and then flips around. You can get some very good trades off of this. I like to trade with trend, not against trend so much. But as you can see, knowing how, how to hold on to a trade versus getting shaken out is very helpful uh, during the day. Sometimes the delta will signal a price change, but it doesn't trump commitment of traders. Well, here was a funny instance. We had a one, two turnaround right here. Uh, it did turn around, but it went right back up on the next bar. So um, this would have been a stop out, get back in. But normally they don't interact one, two like that. This is a very short bar though. One, one, three is four ticks. If you would prefer an eight tick, um, you can step this up to like a two, six or um, a three, five. Or you can even put a range bar on here and just do an eight range or a six range or a four range, whatever you want. <clears throat> I prefer the Unirinkos because I can I can manipulate the bar size that I want. Um, four tick is probably a little bit too small. Um, six ticks probably that's what um, FT71 likes. And as you can see, that smoothed it out a little bit better. So just having the ability to know to stay long or short all this time until your <clears throat> bar direction changes, that's my addition to the uh, gummy ladder. Um, but um, my members um, who are um, can prove to me that they're an elite member of Futures F, I mean, excuse me, of um, Big Mike's, then um, I will give them that template. If they are a member of mine and have purchased that um, template package, they can have my um, setup, because it takes a lot to set that gummy ladder up the way you like it, but I'll give them my uh, chart template for that um, Delta ladder. And this, also, if you want my Alto Gummy uh, chart template, I'll be glad to give you that too. This is a phenomenal 
uh, free tool that you can get at Futures.io. Again, free meaning you can get the template, but you have to know how to set it up. That, that takes a lot um, to go behind the scene. It took me about a year to get my um, ladders set up and my um, um, volume profile uh, for NinjaTrader set up the way I liked it. So um, that's half the battle. So here we go. We went into yesterday's close again, and it's. I think price will probably come up and hit this virgin point of control, which is sitting on yesterday VWAP and sitting between yesterday 50 and yesterday 38 too. So there's a probably a very high chance probability that we'll see this price area. So sorry for the long convoluted um, lesson here, but um, the reason I have all of these lines on my chart is because I use them. All right, so here is the um, website and you can see my screenshots from past charts. Just open one up, click through it, roll through it, and you can see what I'm working on, what I'm trying to accomplish. And here are the rules, terms, and disclosures. There's no faster way to lose your money than trade. Thank you so much.